Hello and welcome back to Open. Our next guest is a Bronx-based photographer and videographer whose work has been recognized in the Bronx and beyond, of course. Uh, her photography has a concentration of uh, portraiture with an editorial aesthetic. And we're going to talk more about that. Uh, well, you know, the intent is to blend the world of fine art with street art in her photographs, videos, and spaces. So here now to share more, please welcome photographer and videographer, Melanie Gonzalez. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> so I, I gave them a, a, a little insight as to um, what your work entails, but um, let's just share a little bit about how you even found this craft, uh, because you kind of combine video together with photography, and then you're kind of mm -hmm. capturing uh, part of our, I guess, our belief system. So I'm just wondering what's going on in that head of yours. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Um, well, first, I'm a person of the theater. That's how I started all of this. I was in a performing arts middle school in the Bronx and as a theater major, and I went and moved on to the city, and I went to performing arts high school, and from there I went into film and photography. And now I'm a working artist full time. So I incorporate a lot of theatrical aspects in my photographs, and because I take direction uh, on the stage, I. I take that and I give a lot of direction when I uh, produce my photo shoots or exhibitions. Hmm. Yeah, I can totally see that. I can totally because there's that performance art component to it, yes. even though it's media arts. Right. Because I saw uh, an image. I, I don't know what we're going to be showing today, but I saw an image of you kind of being at the last dinner. The last supper. Yes. The, uh, right. And mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of like mixed uh, characters. Yeah. Versus it being all men. Yes. So yeah. just what was going, okay, I, I, do we have that image? Um, I don't know, but let's just talk a little bit about it, right? Okay. And the, while they're maybe bringing it up, because I, I don't really know if they have that particular image that we're talking about, but um, you guys can go on her website to check it out after we have this conversation, but <laughs> I just found it very fascinating how um, you're able to kind of like uh, modernize the the way a halo looks with a hat and, um, and then- Halos. Uh, we, right, really? Rolos. Well, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. She, Mary, Underneath it, Mary always has rolos on. Yeah. Nice. So that that series is called Discount Saints, which is now at. Um, you can see the Last Supper and some pieces at the Andrew Friedman Home in the Bronx. It's part of the Next Generation of Bronx Photographers exhibition. Um, it, Discount Saints was originally a solo exhibition. And it's a multimedia work. You know, there's photographs, there's videos, and a sculpture. There's a cross made out of door knocker earrings, bamboo earrings. And it's just a culmination of Bronx inspiration with Renaissance art, Baroque art. And there's a lot of production aspect in that, like f finding the costumes, styling them. And like the Last Supper, I had to get all those props and the tablecloth and the curtains. And there's, a, um, you know, and all the jewelry is really fun to wear. <laughs> and put on my models also. So just out of curiosity um, in your exhibit, what is the, the one thing that is a contribution to all of the work, aside from the saint inspiration, or I guess the modern, because there's that urban thing mm -hmm. going on. So I'm just, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in that mind. I found your work very fascinating. Thank and, you. And I just wondered, I was like, okay, did she go to Catholic school? Like all, all oh. kinds of stuff started going through my head. I went to Sunday school and I can't, I, sorry, I couldn't stand it, but I, I. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I studied um, Italian language and, and the arts. I, I love our history. So that's always a big influence in what I'm attracted to. And so styling the photographs was very much like styling a painting. So I paint with images or costumes or jewelry or, and things like that. And Photoshop. <laughs> and Photoshop. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's an art form in itself. Yes. I mean, really, it is. Yeah. Right, so how many images do you have on display at this uh, new exhi exhibition? At the Andrew Freeman, I have three images. Uh, Ghetto Mary, the Ghetto Mary's Last Supper, and Papi Jesus. Uh, I had to do a Jesus. Right. Yeah. Yeah, let's, you know, let's talk a little bit about that image yeah. as well, because um, it's very captivating. And um, I mean, it's a little, it could be very controversial with the simple fact that he has a teardrop on his eye, mm -hmm. a tattooed teardrop. Which a fish. 
Oh, is fish. it a fish? It, yeah. it looked like a teardrop. That's and the point. It's supposed to look like it, but it's not. Uh -huh. it's, it, the whole point is that it, well, I want you to delve in deeper and see the details. There's a lot of details in each of the images. So it's a fish tattoo. Well, you got me. So you see, yeah. digitize is not the way to go. You, yeah. have, to, you have to go in you person to go and, and actually see, yeah, and yeah. see the image. I brought you a sticker. You did? Yeah. Oh, nice. I made them oh, from nice. the exhibition. Yeah. This it's, is hot. Thank you. This it's, is it's hot. It's clear, so I you love can this. put it. Yeah. I don't know if they can capture it, yeah. but I just love the fact that the bling bling, yeah. it actually... Um, <laughs> it, it pops out. It's a black and white, and then it's it has like a metallic, uh, Gold. almost like what are those new tattoos that they're making? Oh, on the temper. I mean, the, yeah, the, the temporary tattoo, the gold. There's a name for them, but yeah, I don't know the it name. It kind of looks that way. Oh, look there, there we go. Let me see. Look at that. <laughs> Discount saints, okay. Urbanizing it, yeah. right there. Right <laughs> <laughs> there. Exacto. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, just, do you have any? Uh, has anybody ever made any comments to you? In uh, which way? In the sense that, you know, you're using saints as your inspiration? No, people are usually, uh, people are usually uh, coming to me with uh, how familiar these, these uh, different saints are to people in their real life. Like the Last Supper, I wanted it to look like a very typical Latino black um, home in New York. You know, a very New York apartment, but also has a lot of tradition in it. Um, and I have, if you see the Last Supper image, they're all eating Chinese food. And um, in the exhibition, there's eight video loops that are um, video installations. And we show them, I show them, um, you know, dancing with the food and, and celebrating and, you know, having a, a Last Supper with all of these saints. There's six saints in the collection so far. <laughs> this is yeah. so cool. I love it. I love Thank it because you. it's kind of like if you're from New York, you you, you, you get it. You, you get, get it. that yeah. we're multicultural and, and yeah. everybody it's eats a lot of uh, Chinese takeout. Yeah. Yeah, it's like <laughs> we're from everywhere, but at the end of the day, you know, like that, that's like the one thing that unites everyone. But you know, the whole point is just to, to be familiar, bring, you know, these uh, iconic biblical characters to the modern modern day South Bronx. Like if Mary lived today, what would she look like? That's, that was the question that started it all. And here it is, con yeah. rolos yeah. and door knockers. Yeah. And, and a bata. And a bata, <laughs> of course. We gotta do the bata. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing of this course. to me. And um, are there any last words you want to share with our viewers regarding your oh, ex no. exhibition? Thank you for having me. The show is up to the 24th. Of March. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was happy to start off Women, Women's Day with the reception. It was March 1st and it was great. And um, it was a great, you know, it's been a powerful women's month so far. All right. And who are the other uh, photographers uh, on exhibit with you? Renell Medrano, um, Abigail, I, I can't, I don't know. That you don't know them all? I have I the know card. it's curated by uh, Marisol Diaz. See, si, and right? Enfocal Organization. And Enfocal Organization. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Melanie. Thank you. Woo, Discount Saints. Okay. Once again, be sure to check out Melanie's work on exhibit at Enfocal's Next Generation of Women Photographers, currently <laughs> on display through March 24th at the Andrew Friedman Home located on 1125 Grand Concourse in the Bronx. And for more information, visit enfoco.org. And for more on Melanie, you can visit Melanie G, G which is G-E-E, -E, right? Two E's, Melanie G dot com. All right, we're taking a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.